everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Jessica here today with a Wednesday Dollar Tree haul. I got some good stuff that I want to show you, but before I get started, I'd like to talk about my mom. Um, a lot of people have been emailing and asking and comments and stuff about her and I will try to get through this without crying because I do it a lot. She's, um, she's back in the hospital. She has been there for a few days now. Um, she went in last week. She was there for about a day. They sent her home and she is now back. She has been admitted. They are trying to still kind of figure out what is going on with her. I know that she had made a video a while back explaining like how it started and it was with a lot of back pain and pain in her hips and unfortunately as <clears throat> doctor's appointments and stuff had continued they were diagnosing her with other things and trying to treat her for other things that they thought that maybe that it was and unfortunately it was not. So over the last couple of weeks she has gotten worse and <laughs> Okay, so every day got a little worse for her. As far as the pain was concerned, I'm gonna take a minute. Okay, sorry. So every day the pain was getting worse and it kind of moved. It started like her lower back and her hips. It was no longer in the back or the hips. It moved up towards her shoulders and in between her shoulder blades. The way that she explains it is she feels as if there is like three balls like in the back in the middle of her shoulder blades that are just constantly there and they're causing her so much pain and um in the beginning the pain was only coming when she would lay down and try to go to sleep and now unfortunately it is a constant pain all day long every single day and <laughs> my mom is far from a weak woman that is one strong woman probably the strongest one i know so if she is in pain it is pain and they have prescribed a bunch of different things and nothing seems to be working. So she did go back to the hospital. Like I said, she is now admitted and they're trying to figure her out. Um, they did diagnose her with something. It's more of like an autoimmune disease and it's something that they say is rare that they can control with medication unfortunately and it is treatable what her main diagnosis is is treatable they say that it could take a year to two years to actually get rid of but unfortunately it can come back the problem that they are having is they can't figure out why she's in the pain that she is in and they can't figure out why she's losing feeling in parts of her body so it did start out with like just some tingling in the fingertips. She went numb through her hands, the palm of her hands, her feet now up to her ankles that she is just losing feeling. She's having a very hard time walking. She's having a hard time doing. She's having a hard time. Sorry, but she's in the right place. So I'm hoping that they can figure this out and and get her back on track. That's all I can say. So I do thank everybody for reaching out. <laughs> Sorry, she's my mom. I can't help it. Um, reaching out and asking about her and for praying for her and please continue to do so. And, um, you know, I have faith that she's going to be okay. I really do. It's just very, very hard to see her like that. Um, yeah, I've never seen her weak, you know, and it's not that she's weak. That's not what I meant by that, but I have never seen her as fragile as she is right now. And, you know, it's so it's very hard to watch. She is strong and I have faith that they will figure this out and that she will be hopefully on the road to recovery very soon and she'll be back. 
right? That's what I'm hoping for. She will be back. She'll be back and she'll be making videos and she'll be talking to you guys again. And I am just praying that they can quickly figure this out because she's suffering. So, um, all I can say again is thank you for all of the comments and concerns and prayers and please keep them coming. I am going to pause this for a moment, take a minute, and then um, continue with the haul. Okay, I am back. I am so sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. Like I said, that's, that's my mom and it's very hard, but it's just hard to see her in pain. But I, I again, she'll be okay and that's it, she's, you know, <laughs> they're just... There's no other way. So she is going to be okay. Uh, I will keep you posted, obviously. Um, I did ask her if it was okay that I brought up her situation since she she wanted to make a video last week kind of explaining what was going on. But unfortunately, it just got worse as the days went on. So she was unable to. So I did ask for her permission to kind of talk about what's going on with her. So guys, again, before I jump into this, just continue to keep praying for her and I thank you guys so much for doing that and she yelled at me because I haven't been making videos <laughs> because I have been so worried about her and she's yelling at me to do it so we're here and a lot of people asked about my new job which I did start on Monday and um I mean I really can't give an update because it's just orientation time so it's been just days and days and days of kind of sitting in a classroom and being oriented so that's what it's been so far. <laughs> so it was a big, big move, but I'm super excited. I know people are questioning if I left nursing. I didn't leave nursing per se. Um, I was working in a nursing home for the last 18 years. So it was more hands-on nursing. I am now working with veterans and I will be doing more of behind the scenes, behind desk work, to be honest to you. So. It was just a change I needed after 18 lovely years <laughs> at the nursing home, but I have to show you some stuff, and this is what I do when I get emotional, so we're going to see the junk food first, okay? <laughs> so we are going to jump into the junk food, because I bought a bunch of it. So I got these, I don't remember if I like these, and this is why I bought them, because I know they have Uts, but I'm pretty sure they have Hers as well, but I have not seen them in forever. So cheddar and sour cream are my all-time favorite potato chips. Now, <laughs> excuse me, I'm a little concerned with opening them because I know one of them I don't like. <laughs> so it's either the Uts or it's the Hers that I'm not fan of, a fan of, but I love the Ripples. And so I'm hoping that these are the ones that I like. I'm hoping, but if not, it's okay. I'll eat them anyway because that's what I do. Um, <laughs> this is a 2.75 ounce bag and... That's seriously, you're going to say, this is what I do when my emotions get the best of me. Um, I got those. I got another box of these cheddar cheese crackers that I told you guys I just love. I don't know why. I think they're really good. They taste very much like Cheez-Its to me. You get nine packs in each one. They're individually packed, just like that is what it looks like. They are one pouch. I want to see if it told me how... They don't. They're small. They're not huge or anything. I could open this and show it to you real quick. But So they're little tiny packs. They're not huge or anything. They're 95 calories per pack. And I like having these, especially the last couple of days, because I didn't know. <laughs> you guys are going to laugh. I get very nervous when I start somewhere new or I go somewhere new and I don't know the situation. I don't know if there's a refrigerator. I don't know if there's a microwave. I don't know if there's a lunch. Um a lunch, um, like a cafeteria or anything. So I throw all these snacks in my purse and I just kind of snack on them throughout the day. So I got those. I bought the Lance cream cheese and chive crackers. I thought this was something else that'd be great just to throw in that little lunch bag of mine. You get six packs of four crackers on each one. So I like these. These are one of my favorites. So I like to throw these into the little lunch bag as well. Something else to snack on. I'm hoping I'm not talking quick, but I talked a lot. And I want to just kind of get through all the things that I bought today. The Landmark Collections chocolate that I was telling you guys about. I did, <laughs> did rebuy the peanut clusters. 
the bag is downstairs and it is empty, okay? Um, Cause I ate them. Uh, <laughs> but I'm gonna try different ones. They had the peppermint patties, which I love peppermint patties. And so far, like I explained, every one of these that I've tried have been fantastic. This is a 4.5 ounce bag. I can't tell. Yes, I can. These are not individually wrapped. So this bag, they are all open inside this bag. I can't wait to try them so far. I have not been disappointed at all with those candies. And I rebought the peanut butter cups that I thought were absolutely fantastic. These are in fact individually wrapped. And the other thing you guys know this about me, packaging. Packaging, packaging, packaging. It caught my eye and this is why I even tried them. I think the packaging is adorable. The colors, especially this purple and this orange here really got me and that's what kind of caught my attention to this because all of the wrappers are different but they're like really cool designed. So big fan of these, gonna try these. I'm sure they're going to be fantastic. And I think that's all the junk food that I bought today. <laughs> now I showed you these cups the other day. I think they're still sitting here. Maybe they're, maybe they're not. Yes, they are. Oh, these cups here. And they had the different colors. And I saw, like, I got the tall ones and they had a clear one. So today, I did find the clear one. And I love it. It is so cool. I love the iridescent. And you can tell just by the light hitting it, all those different really cool funky colors that you see. Isn't that neat? So now I do have all three. There is four, guys. There's a dark blue, which I didn't know. Um, but I did get these three in the short ones that are, oh my God, again, I'm like all over the place. 19 fluid ounces. And then I got the taller ones, which I think were 25. Do not quote me because I'm not sure. But I got them all in the colors that I wanted. I did get some cleaning supplies, but my normal cast, yep. My normal Cascade original, you get four in each one. I love these. And to be very honest to you, I'm not sure, cause don't quote me. I don't know how much a bigger pack is in the other stores. Cause quite honestly, I don't get them from anywhere else. So I can't tell you if buying them at a dollar and a quarter for four at a time is even a deal or worth it. But as often as I'm there, I just tend to pick them up. I keep them in a container and I have a ton of them. So I like them. So that is that. And then of course I got the Spick and Span. This is antibacterial cleaner. This is one of my favorites. It kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses and it kills the virus that causes COVID-19. <sighs> okay, so <laughs> one of my favorites, you do get a 16 fluid ounce bottle. And again, just my favorite. It is one of my favorite ones. So spick and span. I went on another kind of baby kick today. But they, oh, before I get to the baby stuff, they have this super adorable dad picture frame. For any of those fathers out there, a little Father's Day present. Put the adorable picture here. It already says dad down the side. It does have this little kickstand thing here to stand. I just thought this was adorable. I didn't see these for Mother's Day, and I kind of wish they had one, right? Mom down the side, it would have been super cute. I didn't see any, I don't know if they had them, but I really, really loved this. I thought this was really cute, and <clears throat> that's it. I just thought it was really cute. Um, <laughs> so I don't know where to put anything, so we got that. And I got a few baby things that I'm gonna show you, and I did get one thing from the Dollar Plus section as well. Oh, but real quick, actually, I got this little notebook. It is just purple. It says notes on the front of it. This is what the pages on the inside look like. They have subject and date at the top. I needed another notebook for this new job because I'm going, so we're doing the orientation part now. And then for my actual position, there's another training for that that lasts about two weeks. So I wanted to get a little handy dandy notebook that was thin enough, but enough pages for me to just kind of stick in my bag to take with me and jot down anything that 
I need to because I'm going to be learning a whole nother job. This is just completely different from what I've been doing. So <laughs> completely learning a new job. I love the purple and the gold. It made me happy. So that is what I bought. So that's going in the bag as well. And then they had some really cute baby stuff. I'm telling you, the great nephew is going to have a ton of stuff. A bunch of new socks that I got because they're so cute. Look at these little rocket ships. How cute. The gray and the blue. The anti-skid or anti-slip little buttons there on the bottom because those little newborns be running around. <laughs> right? Too cute. I got those and then I got the... I feel like I might have bought these already. No, they didn't. I was looking at the stuff I got down there. Cute little elephants. Love them. They've got the white little non-skid uh, dots on the bottom. How cute. And these both were newborn. Zero plus months. And then they had these two pair sets of little baby socks. And again, we have the non-slid skid little dots at the bottom. But look at these little airplanes and cars. I love the little stripes. These are stage three, so these are 12 to 18 months. So yeah, maybe those will come handy 12 to 18 months because <laughs> the baby should be walking around. Perfect, right? And then these are stage two. This is six to 12 months. And look at these. We have an astronaut. We have a little rocket ship. We have some aliens over here. They're just precious. I can't even get over it. They're just so precious. So those were the socks I got. Excuse me, they have some sesame beginnings. This is PBA free. And it is a rattle with rings. And it is our little cookie monster there. They say zero to 18 months. But look how cute. I love this. Cute. They had, I think, wait, cookie monster. Was it Elmo maybe? I don't know, but I think I took a picture because again, you guys know I took pictures, so you'll see pictures at the end of this video. And then I just grabbed some, I call them, yep, I was going to say burp cloths. So we have a couple burp cloths here, but this is just kind of goes with the whole thing. It's a, the little rocket ships and the planets on it. They are 12 by 20 inches. Super cute. So we got some rocket ships and then we have this one here that has the little alphabet on it and we have some dinosaurs. They are, is this upside down? Uh, I can't tell. They are super cute. <laughs> so again, 12 by 20 inches. Perfect. And the last thing for the baby, they have some towels there. These are the hooded towels. They are 20 by 24 inches. Look how cute. So there is the little hooded part. So obviously that'll go over the head. You wrap them up after their little tubby and there you go. But it's kind of like that, uh, like kind of like a microfiber feeling, honestly. I don't know how well they're going to be, but I thought it was super cute. And for $1.25, I mean, why not? So how cute. And that's it for the babies. No more baby stuff. Now this poor thing has been sitting over here in my last three videos because I kept forgetting to show it. This is just a wooden wreath base. It is 12 inches by 12 inches. And this is simply all it is. <laughs> but again, the amount of things that you could do with this, right? You can wear it. No, I'm just teasing you. So I had to get this. It can be painted. It is just wood based color. Um, to me, it feels more like, I don't know. No, I think if I broke it, it's actually wood. I was going to say, it kind of felt like that compressed cardboard, but it's not. What did I just say? 12 by 12 inches. So numerous amounts of things you can do with this. You could do it now. You can save it. You could use it at Christmas time, fall time, whatever it is you want to use it for. But tons of ideas, and we can do that. Now, my one and only thing that I did get from the plus section today was this welcome mat. This one says home. It is 18 by 27 inches. It was $5, and look how cute this is. I love the two different colors. This here is that rough stuff, so it does help get the dirt and stuff off your shoes. 
and then we have the home in the middle with that cute little heart and it does have a nice heavy thick rubber backing to it so they had home and i'm pretty sure they had welcome again any pictures i will post at the end of this video but i thought this was super cute for five dollars and that's why it's home with me um <laughs> so that is excuse me all i have for you guys today Thank you very much once again for all your comments, your questions, your concerns about my mom. Thank you for your prayers. Please keep them coming and I will keep you updated. Um, as soon as I know anything or anything changes in all honesty because nothing seems to be changing. So there's not much to update at this point. I mean, there was a bunch to update because you guys didn't know anything that was going on. But if anything changes, good or bad, I will keep you posted. So again, thank you continue praying and hopefully she will be back to her normal happy giddy self soon <laughs> so until next time guys bye now mm -hmm.